this is kind of like a tour of the life of Christ. And many people don't pray the rosary well. We use the word meditate on the mysteries. In my research through the various doctors of the church, Teresa of Avila, John of the Cross, St. Alphonse of Sawari, St. Francis de Sales, they will use the word mental prayer and meditation interchangeably within a couple of sentences of one another. And so what they mean, and what I, I believe Our Lady meant when she revealed this to St. Dominic to meditate upon the mystery, is to, one, make an act of faith that God is present. This is, these are the steps of mental prayer. Make an act of faith, God, I believe you're present. I believe you're close to me. You're holding me into existence. I'm a temple of the Holy Spirit. Two, imagine to the best of your ability, the scene, let's say for example, we're imagining the birth of the child Jesus in Bethlehem. So I would imagine a fat baby Jesus, just the chubbiest, cutest little person. And imagine as if you're holding him or that you're there, you're a part of the scene. But the most important part of mental prayer or meditation is to speak to Christ in that scene. So for example, let's say you have a financial difficulty. You're praying the third joyful mystery of the rosary. You're holding the fat baby Jesus. How long should I think about fat baby Jesus? The saints say, until it makes an impression on you. And it can be any, any aspect of fat child. So just looking at fat feet, you know, fat baby feet that look like a loaf of bread. Like you could just think of that. And when that makes an impression, you're like, oh, God became a man and had fat baby loaf feet. Now I can begin my conversation with Christ and just say, Lord, I need money. You're a baby. You have no concept of money. Can I have some money? And then the, so the first step of prayer is recollection, act of faith in the presence of God. The second step of prayer is consideration or meditation. The third step is conversation. But the conversation doesn't end when I tell baby Jesus I need money. I have to pause for a moment and allow the Lord to move in my heart. And that's different for different people. But I would, I've would i had this happen to me before where I'm praying to fat baby Jesus, Lord, I need money. And then I look into his beautiful brown eyes. I'm imagining them. Of course, I don't know what his eyes look like, but I'm imagining it. And I sense him in the stirrings of my heart say, you're holding me and I trust you to hold me. Do you trust me to hold you? Mm. And yes, it's my imagination, but something happens in the depths of my soul that changes me and God communicates through movements of the soul, through what we call consolations. So that process, once you know it, uh, recollection, consideration, conversation, once you practice it and you practice it very well in the rosary, it takes about 30 seconds. And when you start to pray the rosary like that, when you're having an encounter with the person of Christ and all the various aspects of his life, mixed with the Our Father, mixed with the prayer, the Hail Mary, which was the beginning of the end of Satan because Christ became word incarnate on this earth. That to me, that's scientific, like does a prayer that has all of those elements exist? Like, I don't know one where I'm in the presence of Christ stirring up a whirlwind of the Holy Spirit around me. Like it's. So I love so much of what you're saying. There's so much to unpack here. Yeah. I mean, starting mm -hmm. with what you were saying, I mean, there's the Our Father yeah. at the beginning of each of the decades, the yes. five decades of the of mm -hmm. the rosary. And then you have the 10 Hail Marys and right. then you have the Glory Be. But starting with the Our Father, this is the perfect prayer, right? Jesus literally tells yes. us, this is how you pray, how everybody. Pray. So like it. to pray the Our Father, not just yeah. once a day, but throughout the day, this is the prayer that God himself gave us. Yes. There's one prayer, it's this prayer. And then you were saying about the the greeting of the angel yes. to Mary. And I love what you're saying about the Holy Spirit. He's he's coming upon Mary. This is how Jesus Christ comes into the world incredibly. And I can you just I guess it's like sense for a moment like what would what was that room like that room when Mary received this message and she said yes to the angel, yes to God, to be the mother of God, the mother of Jesus. Like the intensity of the experience of the Holy Spirit in that room. Like the, the it, it was just I can't even, it was mind blowing, but of course Mary had that experience. And so we're, we're asking to share in. Yes. We're asking to share in the incarnation. Yes. Really. I mean, that's what you're saying because, Give me goosebumps. because the whole, you know, the rosary, it's the life of Christ, all the scenes of his life, all of the different mysteries. And so you're asking to be there with him in his life yep. and then his death, his passion, his death, and then his resurrection his yes. into eternity. 
and what is the who who is the Christian that doesn't do that? Right. Like, how do we do Christianity right. without entering into the life of Christ? Yeah. I mean, right. I mean, we, yeah, we can't. To right? me, it's like it's pretty incredible. Like, it sounds great. <laughs> If, as long as people don't see it as that's something that Catholics do. Like, no, it's a good prayer for all Christians. I mean, it's the Gospels. Yeah, it's the Gospels. It's the Gospel. The, the, the rosary is the Gospels. Yeah. And I often would ponder, because, you know, they say Mary pondered all these things in her heart. I would ponder, what did she ponder the most? And I would think to myself, mm -hmm. well, maybe it was the Eucharist, maybe it was the crucifixion. Mm -hmm. But then as I was praying the rosary, it dawned on me, she pondered the incarnation the most. Because without God becoming man... He can't be crucified. Without God becoming man, we can't receive him in Holy Communion. When she looked at him when he was sucking on her breast, she thought to herself, God became man and I am nursing him. God became man and he is playing outside right now. God became man and he's hanging on the cross. Like So to, for people who might feel like it's a lot of Hail Marys. Yeah, and if you're uncomfortable saying the Hail Mary, you can just say the first half of it. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. If you feel uncomfortable saying, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now. like Just say the first part if you're yeah, Protestant. Just, yeah, if you're uncomfortable well, with it. But the other thing is like, the, all generations will ha call me blessed. Yeah, it's I beautiful. I mean, that, that like Mary predicts that yes. all generations will call me blessed. If not for the rosary, practically, what does that even mean? Right. How Ooh, would that prediction have made insight. sense? Great insight, great I mean, insight. Because that's that. what we do. We say... Yeah. Hail Mary, full of grace. We're calling yeah. her blessed with every bead we pray. And I have a lot of Protestant friends, and I, like, from when, whenever they lose a loved one, they will tell me things like, "I know my grandfather's watching over me in heaven. Like I know he's, I know he's by my side. He's like my angel." And I don't, I don't correct them. It's like, "Well, he's actually, he's actually like your saint." But so there is a deep down belief that their loved one is alive in Christ. That they have, if they're watching over you, what does that mean? They're protecting you somehow. They're interceding for you. So I don't think that there's a disconnect. I think that it maybe might be like a, our team doesn't do that sometimes, uh, kind of like attitude. But I think that if you just look at it from an unbiased perspective, it's pretty great. Like, so you mentioned Mary giving this to St. Dominic. Yes, yes. What, can you share about what happened? Because yes. even the idea of this like,